Hi everyone, I'm here with Professor Solomon Tesfaye and we're going to talk a bit about diabetic neuropathy. Solomon, what is diabetic neuropathy? Diabetic neuropathy is nerve damage associated with diabetes, long-standing diabetes often. It starts in the toes and patients get uh, numbness or dead feeling, pins and needles, and sometimes severe pain. And over time it, it goes upwards to involve the lower limbs. And once it's well established in the lower limbs, the upper limbs are affected and, and it can have disabling symptoms. In terms of diagnosis, are we diagnosing diabetic neuropathy correctly? At the moment, uh, the diagnosis is uh, supposedly taking place on an annual basis in um, primary care. But in fact, uh, we know that from a recent study that we've done in Sheffield, quite a lot of patients don't even have foot screening. And, and we're also using insensitive measures such as a 10 gram monofilament test to diagnose neuropathy, when, which diagnoses the condition when it's well established in the legs and irreversible. And these patients head to our foot clinics. Their mortality rate at that point within five years is about 50%. It's worse than some cancers. And a lot of these patients also end up having amputations and amputations in the UK are increasing year on year. 140 amputations every week. Uh, and so the diagnosis should be taking place using uh, specialized equipment, a handheld device that can measure nerve conduction within three minutes. And we've also got a pseudo scan. And again, they measure small fiber function within three minutes. And ideally, this should be done in one stop shop. The patient's coming to have screening, eye screening at the same time while eye drops are working, examining their feet, and also taking blood to do renal screening. Now, patients love this uh, because they have only one appointment and they have everything done for them. And I think that's the way forward. Um, so how is your research into central nervous system informing treatment? Previously, it was thought that diabetic neuropathy was peripheral. It's diabetic peripheral neuropathy, uh, the nerve damage in the, in the feet but, uh, and in the legs. Uh, but in fact, what we've discovered uh, through doing uh, imaging, uh, brain imaging using MRIs that the spinal cord is involved, is a shrinkage of spinal cord, and also volume loss in the brain and changes in the plasticity of the central nervous system, uh, really giving us, it's in fact not just a peripheral neuropathy, it involves the whole of the nervous system, and, and these hopefully will result in new treatments down the line. That's very exciting. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've really enjoyed talking to you about diabetic neuropathy. Thanks for watching everyone and look out for some more um, videos later.